Hi everyone, it's like Saturday morning. It's really like 11.15, but I am um, still kind of considering it to be morning time. Um, I have Wilma's food soaking, so I just have to hold her because she goes nuts because she knows it's like about to be time to eat. But yeah, I just wanted to vlog this weekend because I really tried to vlog spring break and I did a little bit, like I got a few days in and then I just dropped the ball on it. I just really ended up giving up on the vlog. I had a lot of like family time and my grandma visited. So yeah, I didn't really pick up the camera after a few days of spring break. But Justin just left for a job interview and then Sam, which is our roommate, him and his dad are putting up shutters in the house. So that'll look really nice. I'll show you guys what that looks like um, afterwards. And then they're also going to do something to the deck to kind of give us some shade. So I'm really happy that those things are getting done this weekend. And then also on Sunday, Justin and I are going to pick up some soil for our garden beds. We're gonna grow some vegetables this summer. But yeah, I just wanted to start a little weekend vlog. I didn't start it yesterday because I just had a crazy, crazy day with work so i did not start the vlog yesterday but i wanted to start it this morning because i still wanted to vlog i was really enjoying my few days of vlogging spring break and then i just completely dropped the ball on it i don't know why i thought i could tackle a week of vlogging when i hadn't vlogged in a really long time so i, I don't know but we're starting this weekend and i'll see you guys in a little bit when i check in later so i decided today that i'm actually going to be waxing my legs this company sugar sugar sent me their like sugar wax and they sent me a whole kit um of the sugar wax some like cleansing water and then some like powder dust to put on before you start waxing um and then like a serum to put after but i've used the sugar sugar wax i think twice but i've been kind of letting my hair grow honestly you know it's been cold i definitely avoid shaving i really like the razor that i have um but shaving to me is just like super unappealing i'm going to put a little bit of the dust like kind of all over and then Oof. but it was just kind of it was just kind of time to shed to do some shedding because it is going to be warmer out i kind of like to fix the wax a little bit out before i apply it to the skin i found that that had worked a little bit better for me because then i can just like smooth it on to my skin and kind of stretch it out a little bit more i'm gonna be here for a while i think also it's like really nice because i can just keep reusing the piece i do use hard wax as well but mainly i've just been using hard wax on my boyfriend's beard because i honestly have not been like removing any of my body hair for a really long time at this point um just because that's i didn't want to i'm finally done and this is kind of like what the wax or like the sugar wax looks like now it just has a bunch of hair in it and it's like this caramel color now because of the powder and like that's what it looks like originally so yeah i'm all finished my hair is removed this is all of the wax that i used as well which is such a difference from like hard wax hard wax is pretty wasteful because it's just like literal plastic beads i think that's melted down and then this is literally like sugar so the sugar wax is way less wasteful. A couple of you guys commented on my last video wanting to see more Wilma, so here she is. How cute is she? She's on her big Smushmallow. This is from Costco. I don't think that they carry this one anymore. This is the only one that we have. And I just thought it was so cute, and Wilma loves it. Don't you love it, baby? The shutters are up. I don't want to show you like my whole house, but yeah, the shutters are up and they look really, really nice. Before the house was just like totally white, um, but now this adds just like a little different touch to it. It's really cute. Oh, the lighting in here is like really the worst. I don't think that it could be any better, but Justin and I are about to do a core workout through Apple Fitness. The other day we did a HIIT workout and yeah. it was really intense. Yeah. I didn't really do all of it, but Justin did all of it and was really really sore so we're gonna do a core one today that one i mean that, there's some side planks that guy has does that guy have one leg or is that oh no that's a knee brace or is that one leg 
I think it's one leg. All right, let's, let's do a mirror. Let's do, this let's do a mirror. Yeah, let's go. Twist one, twist one, two, three, and four. Control it down. Try to keep that rhythm going. The big thing here, keep your chest proud. Meaning, pull your shoulders back, which is pretend like you're showing off your favorite t-shirt. It comes out, oh. one, tap shoulder. Tap opposite. Pike up, then yep. reach and tap your leg. Tap opposite. Control it back down. Keep that rhythm going. Our roommate Sam just set up the fire. He also put up this like um, big net for the deck that he built with his dad. And then he also put out this thing that looks really nice. Um, I don't know if I've shared with you guys our like little patio furniture, but we got this from Facebook Marketplace. It was like the best find ever. Um, I'm also adding some of our laundry lint to the fire. But yeah, this looks so nice. I love how this turned out and I love our little lights on here. So it's almost 8 a.m. and I got up about an hour ago to start my day. I wanted to get an early start because I got kind of a light start yesterday. Um, but I am finishing up editing my brush video. So that'll be up soon and like hopefully an hour or two. But yeah, around 11 today, Justin and I are going to go to like the local plant nursery and pick up some soil for our garden beds. And then we'll put the soil in there. We're not gonna plant anything just yet, but we did kind of decide on what we wanted to plant last night. And then we are going over to a friend's house today. We have not seen their apartment yet, but they moved in at some point last year. Um, we haven't seen their apartment yet, so we're going over there today. I don't know if we're doing dinner there, but I did decide that I'm going to vlog into a little bit um, next week. So like Monday, Tuesday, I'll probably vlog. But yeah, I just wanted to check in. Yesterday night was really nice um, being on the deck and having the fire going. It was like a little bit chilly. Uh, it's also really nice for Wilma to be outside at that time because it's not very sunny. Probably not just Wilma, but Wilma likes to uh, think it's playtime whenever I'm about to work out. But I am going to be doing a little bit of Ring Fit right now. Ring Fit Adventure is a game on the Switch and it's like a fitness game. It's literally so fun and it seriously gets me to work out like multiple times a week um i also have these indoor sneakers i bought them specifically for the game because i was super into it wilma you've got to be joking me grabbed wilma because she was going wild but these sneakers that i'm wearing are brooks and i got them from dicks i'll link them down below if i can find them um because i got them a few months ago but i'm really happy that i picked them up because they've just elevated my like indoor at home workout but yeah this is what the game kind of looks like it takes you through these like different worlds and courses and then there's lots of different games i also use the fitness gaming workout on the apple watch to record my ring fit adventure sessions So I just leveled up to 130, so I think I'm done with my workout. I worked out for about like 15, 16 minutes in the game, and then that ends up being like 30 minutes on my Apple Watch. The game only records like the times that I'm moving as an actual workout, but oh my gosh, that just kicked my butt. Apple Fitness has nothing on Ring Fit. Ring Fit, the Nintendo created an amazing workout game. I'm like obsessed with this ring fit game we're about to leave to go to the plant nursery um to pick up some soil but these are the vegetable beds that we're going to be using um, my mom says that we'll probably need maybe like 15 bags of soil for these so we'll just see and then maybe we'll pick up vegetables while we're there yeah yeah these are what justin and i have picked out we're doing some bell peppers another one um, these are Thai super peppers, so we're gonna try those. Some sun sugar tomatoes, we think we have two of those. 
Uh, we're doing a poblano pepper, two of those, a ghost pepper, um, pickling cucumbers, and then like regular cucumbers. Yeah, because I made I made cucumbers last summer. The yeah, those pickles were good. Stupid good. Were really, really good. We got some of our vegetables here. My mom is putting together a little lime tree. And then what were these, mom? You said that this you were gonna put a flower in that there. This is a bubblegum super tunia. How it will cute! Trail out of the pot and just bloom <gasps> nonstop until fall. Oh my gosh! And we should leave it out here. We should leave oh, it yeah. on the deck. And then we got some bird food, bird seed for our bird feeder. That's right over there. Um, a little watering can, and then we got 18 bags of soil. And I think Justin's gonna start opening up the bags and putting them in there. Look at the peak on those biceps. <laughs> Slap the whole thing in there? Yeah, yeah this right, just bro. grew out of nowhere, out of our little uh, onion bag. But it just sprouted roots, right, right out. So these go yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we're gonna put them in one of these. One Big, big one, this one? I would do the small one. Small, small one. one. So I just found this website and it was telling us <laughs> to <laughs> to peel back the onion and it'll reveal like different part, like little sections of new we'll baby onions. We... I think this is it right here. Yes, you're right. This little bulb down here. This is it. I don't know if we got multiple ones. But yeah, yeah this it's is okay. The... It's... It's not. This is it right here. No. Nice. Just where is here? So we just got these new fresh flowers. I wanted some flowers for the vase that's right by the front door. This vase is pretty new, it's from H&M. And then I also have these cute little tea candle holders from H&M. I never realized that H&M had a home decor section, but a lot of their stuff was really nice. And I got some couch pillows from there and they were really cute, I like them a lot. And then also over here, I have my Rose Forever roses. This company, Rose Forever, sent me these a little while back and I really liked them by the front door. I think it's really cute and unique. But yeah, these roses are really cool. They're very beautiful and they're supposed to look like this forever. I guess that would also be like a pretty good Mother's Day gift. Um, but yeah, these are really cute. I believe they also sent me a coupon code. So I will leave whatever coupon code that is either on the video or like in the description. But yeah, this is what my little front table is looking like by the door. I just, oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. I love these. Yes, I'm watching Brooke Michio. I really like her vlogs, but I was getting us ready to leave for Wilma's bed appointment. And I remember that in one of these Ulta packages are new masks. So I'm just gonna do a quick little unboxing. And then Coco Kind also sent me um, some products. So I'm gonna open up that really quick too. This smells so good. Oh my God, I have to use it tonight. I got the Tree Hot Watermelon Sugar Scrub. I also wanted to try Pattern. I'm almost out of my Curlsmith products and I really wanted to try something new. I've done two cycles already of Curlsmith. I really, really liked it. But yeah, I'm just ready to try a new brand. Ooh, I got a Kula makeup setting spray. I got two sets of the Kitschka, Kitschka masks, but I wanted to pull one of these out, so I'm excited about that. Some new hair clips. I really was needing them. These break just super easily, so I needed a few more. Um, I also wanted to try this Con Air t-shirt towel. I I have to actually do my hair tonight, so I think I might try that out. The newer Con Air products were not on sale and neither were the hair accessories, but I had a lot of points that I wanted to spend. I ended up getting all of this stuff. I didn't even tell you guys. I ended up getting all this stuff for $5 because of Ulta points. Ulta is seriously unbeatable. Unbeatable. Newer brand, I've not seen it, so I'm assuming it's newer. The Everyday Humans, um, they have SPF, they have a body sunscreen and a face sunscreen, and I wanted to try out their products. The packaging was really cute. It seemed like a fun brand, and they were on sale as well during like the spring haul. So yeah, I think this might be like a little limp balm. 
I'm gonna put that in my little bag when I leave. And then next what I got from Coco Kind, I didn't even realize I was on the Coco Kind like PR list, but that's really awesome because I honestly love Coco Kind so much. I cannot wait to share like my little empties video with you guys. I don't know when I'm gonna be filming that. I definitely have like a few products that I'm still wanting to go through and share in that empties video. But like I've gone through quite a few Coco Kind products and they are definitely repeats for me. Like I love that. But I wanted to try their sake body lotion. I love body lotions. So I'm excited to try this. And then I also wanted to try their sea kale clay mask. So that'll be fun. Maybe Justin will want to do that with me later. Then I got another watermelon hemp oil. Loved my previous bottle of the watermelon hemp oil. It was so good. I honestly feel like it kept my skin so clear and hydrated. It was amazing. I changed my mind. I am not going to be wearing these. I need to throw them in the wash. They smell kind of bad, like, you know, that kind of factory chemical smell. So I'm going to wash them first. So I basically just finished editing the vlog that you just watched and I never like ended the vlog so i'm gonna do that now um it's actually friday so it's been like about a week later and i actually have like pretty unfortunate news to share about the garden um basically all of our plants died because we had like a really unexpected frost and it got like to 32 degrees and our plants died so yeah, that was kind of upsetting, but at least we have kind of everything set up. So I actually think that Justin and I are going to start with seeds for right now and then actually grow them inside. We have like quite a bit of room in our laundry room. I think that we'll just make our laundry room into like a little growing room and we do have some growing lights. So I think that could definitely work out. But also I wanted to give you a little update on Wilma. So Wilma's totally fine. I just took her to the vet because she was having some issues with um her anal glands just don't, not gonna beat around the bush she was having some issues with that like a few weeks ago where like we had to take her to the emergency vet and she went on a cycle of antibiotics and then um she ended up like butt scooting again which is like a sign of like it needing to be taken care of and i brought her to like her regular vet to do that and then a few days ago would have been like two weeks later from like that vet appointment and she was butt scooting again so i brought her in for like a full checkup to see if there was like anything wrong and the doctor said that she is totally fine like wilma you could not be cuter i love you girl wilma girl needs a bath she's gonna get a bath after this but that's gonna be all for me today thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching the vlog if you guys got up to this point um i really enjoyed filming the vlog and i definitely want to be doing more of them moving forward especially now that like summer is getting close i am going to be finishing up my job soon but yeah let me know how you guys liked the vlog if there's anything you guys want to see in future vlogs um yeah just leave me comments i want to you know chat with you guys in the comment section uh but that is going to be it for me today thank you guys so much for watching if you aren't already subscribed definitely go ahead and do so and hopefully i see you next time